Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again to another Class Real video. And today I have another top 5 for you guys. Top 5 most underused cards in the game. And by underused I mean cards that are actually really really good, but people do not use them at all. On the number 5 spot we have the Witch. And as you know she spawns skeletons. And if she's behind like a royal giant or a simple giant or a golem, she can even take out a tower. Not only is she good at attacking, but she's really good at defending. For example, if the attacker has a hog rider, you can deploy the witch and boom, she can kill the hog rider, no problem. The hog rider will get like one or even two hits. So that's a very good move from your side. She's neither cheap nor expensive, 5 elixir is a reasonable elixir cost. I personally use her frequently with many different decks, it can, she can fit in uh, many many decks, but unfortunately I do not see players in the matchmaking using her. And yeah, moving on to the number 4 spot, we have the baby dragon. And okay, I have to admit, the baby dragon sometimes sucks. But again, if you have something to tank in front of the baby dragon, it's really damn good, like the baby dragon can one-shot goblins and especially if the opponent does not have something to attack air, for example, if he does not have minions or the musketeer, he can't freaking kill your baby dragon. It doesn't do that much damage to the tower but still it's a good card and if you have other cards as well with it, it can be very very effective. Pretty good card but again not many people use it. On the number 3 spot we have the ice birds, also known as ice sheets. So, as you know, the Ice Spirits were added to the game with the previous update on Monday. And okay, of course, it's a, it's a start right now, so people don't use them that much yet. But that card is godly. Personally, I think it's OP. It only costs one elixir and it's basically a zap and a nice wizard together. It freezes uh, the opponent's troops, whether it's a hog rider or minions, for two seconds. And it only costs one freaking elixir, like one elixir is nothing. Instead of using a zap, because many people use zap, try using the ice spirit. Of course, you're, you're gonna have it, it's a common card, I already have it at level 5. But you must be really careful when you deploy it, because uh, it's easily killed if you do not deploy the ice spirit precisely. On the number 2 spot we have the Goblin Barrel, which has been uh, also buffed with the recent balance changes. Its cost has been reduced from 4 elixir to 3. You wanna use minions or goblins so that the opponent uses his arrows or whatever he has, fireball or whatever, so that you can use then the Goblin Barrel without being afraid of him throwing the arrows or anything like that. Super good if you use it with a hog rider or a freeze spell as well. Even after the buff though, not many people use it. I don't know why, of course, um, there are a few decks that you can use it in. It's not a card that can be used in many decks, but it's a really good card and unfortunately, I did not personally see any people using it. And moving on to the number one spot, we have the Skeleton Army, which happens to be one of my favorite cards. It recently got a buff as well with the balance changes, there used to be 20 Skeletons in the Skeleton Army, now there are 21. Not a big buff, but still it's a buff. It can counter everything, from a Giant, to a Royal Giant, to a P.E.K.K.A. and even a Hog Rider or anything, like it can counter anything. Of course there are many ways for the opponent to kill it, like with a Zap, Arrows, um, bomber, but still he won't manage to kill all of them. I gotta say, it's pretty expensive, I, I think it's 5 or 4 elixir, don't remember exactly. Uh, it's, it's pretty expensive for what it does, but it's really good. And honestly, I never see the skeleton army in the game. No one plays with it, I don't know, try it out you guys, I think it's a really good card. And that's it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed this top 5, if you have any other top 5 ideas you want me to make, make sure you comment down below, I'll be sure to read them and do them. So yeah, make sure you subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below, and see ya in the next one.